All right. Good morning. Good day. This is the African Crypto Warlord. As you can see, I'm back in the jungle. That's the monkeys. I'm sorry if you guys hear noise. We've got some monkeys. We've got some goats. We've got some little kids shouting in the nearest village. What else? We've got some trumpet birds in the sky. Beautiful. Love to be back. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to crush it on this next Bitcoin analysis. I have two coins. The first that you can see here, which is more than likely the thumbnail, if I can remember after this video, is uh, the Laplace distribution, no skew, and general observations. I got to this side of the cone. Did it have all the flashes? We'll find out later. But it may want to go test the other side of the cone, although I appeared at 75 grand. Wow, wow, we were. All right. Now, blue for blue, that's general observation, edge of cone. Oh, edge of cone, it's 78 grand. But let's start on the high term time frames. Let's just mark this off where we are, just so you can see how pinata this is. All right, all right. Get that big. We'll even get to that one when we cover all the cones. Okay. If you saw so it's my general observation, if it fails this blue here, we should more than likely see this white line by the end of the stream or halfway to it. Now, let's get into it. 21 day down to the one minute, 21 day to seven day long term time frames. Anything below the seven day to the 24 hour medium term time frames. Anything lower than the 24 hour to the six hour is short term time frames. Anything lower than the three hour to the one minute intraday time frames so you, if, the, if you catch a video fast enough you might be able to see what's there as such put the notification on or whatever it is on discord on youtube all right let's crush it now we're going to be looking at direction of volatility 21 day 50 50 negative mean reversion so let's just throw up a reverse wave tendy uh, oh you're not going to show me a reverse wave tendy are you you naughty girl let it load any failures below the top side of the reverse wave tendy that should be loading, which it is not currently, would call for downside. All right, we're just going to have to move on with our lives here, but I'll hopefully get that up. Any failures below here, 66, 200. We do look for a touchdown to 58. Opportunity for, again for another bull drive. This is a 21 day. Technically in negative drift. Negative drift means uh, small candles down with a mean reversion, same like the 24 hour, uh, same like the 21 day, 14 day down, down, down. Now we have a seven day Laplace, which we'll get into catching negative drift. Small candles down has hit its outlier. So just off of a quick observation, any failure below 62, I suppose what it is here, 66, 200. Let me just make that super big. S just call it six six triple six so sixty six thousand triple six any failures below there you look for serious push to the downside here uh we didn't get the top side of this coin but anyway so base it off of this mean reversion if you hold above here there's a good opportunity for bullish mean reversion so pretty much s double six triple six it's gonna be a long-term swing trade to be had now what's this this is technically five day on the sneaky dump mode it is looking bearish. All right, what do I want to do? I wanted to throw up what? Literally, uh, it'll be on the next time frame. Okay, so five days, technically sneaky dump mode, not in a trend as of yet, but mean reverting through on the DLP. Next five day prints in 11 hours. Opportunity for a hidden bull div to happen. All right, now this thing is technically, again, this is the three day. It's still in a little bit of negative drift. That's why she hasn't had the opportunity to pick up and really push through on these little pump we're seeing today. Again, 50-50 on the two day, nothing as important here. Maybe a little bit of a hidden drive or a normal bull dip forming in this region. 24 hour, this is perfect. All right, so we must remember this area here with, the t with regards to 24 hour because if you remember the 15 minute cone we were just looking at, it's pretty much the same area. So I'm going to click on this orange line and any closes below 66, 352, we do look for mean reversion down to $62,961. Any closes above 66, 352, we look for mean reversion to 68, 
0.216. All right, if we can hold above there, we do look for this zone of liquidity that is formed here at 70,550. And that's technically a lower high. So if we can remember those numbers, which I hope I can, you'll see that there is uh, opportunity for bear divs and bear divs to form over here. Now, contraction whilst, positive, uh, whilst negatively correlated is a pump or small candles up. All right, that's a 12 hour. So pretty much you can say you will be able to spot the trend from the 24 hour and the 12 hour so far. Everything else above 24 hours saying pretty much bearish. 24 hour is sort of trying to have a uptrend form. 12 hour has been backing it. Still got a good time to go, 10 hour, pretty much 11 hours worth of price action trying to push it to the upside. What do we have here? We have sneaky pump mode on the six hour, which is rather good as that is backing the 12 hour all right so six hours back in the 12 hour this is pump mode so this is expansion volatility in a trend whilst positively correlated uh, there might be five hours left for this thing to actually unwind into the mean reversion that will pull up on the 15 minute all right but any closes above said little blue line you get your continuation which we that little blue dot over here we marked out on the 15 minute all right closes above said blue line your six hour will be able to Carry on pushing through. Look at that. Another way to quantify. Alrighty then. Three hours. So there's a little bit of a bullish posturing coming through here on these lower term time frames. Three hour has a negative drift, small candles up. So what does that mean? Negative drift, uh, uh, positive, positive drift technically means uh, bears know to lift their sell orders because they know they can get a better sell so just off of that observation that's why i know that there is an opportunity for a lower high to form on let's say a 24 hour and a three day okay here is again sort of moved into 50 50 closing trying to push and close above the previous day daily's mean on the 90 minute which is 50 50 at the moment has had its mean reversion not so good. Contraction was positively correlated. Should be able to help the six hour, 12 hour and 24 hour. Intraday trade into $67,075. If you can hold above here, we do look for a monthly touch at $68,015. There is opportunity for mean inversion here, but remember this blue line. Any closes below, perfect. This is Gucci gang. Any closes below this blue line, we do look for mean reversion down to 65,085. Any one of these numbers here, 65,637, six, 65, 66,146 are pretty much regions of interest if it does fail here. Now, seeing as there are some opportunities for these higher term timeframes to try keep it above this blue line, we immediately start to look for this pink line here as a mean of a point of failure, as we know that it's in positive drift. Small candles up. A lot of work with this. All right, to get to get up here into the $68,938 region. Have we got something else here? Is pink and blue in the same place? No, they're not. It looks like it's just above the skew. All right, so we pretty much quantified this region here again at $68,950. Let's just call it. There is a good opportunity that Bitcoin could get up here. Let's just throw our VREs on, which is a plus one on the, where's my weekly? It's actually a minus one on the weekly range. So a good opportunity for hidden bear to come in here but now on the 15 minute as you can see this is our weekly mean reversion we're sort of midweek already always a safe place for bitcoin to be is around its weekly means before or the end of the week but it usually comes in and wants to get direction for the rest of the month by via the weeklies so 69,802. any failures below here we do look for the bottom side of the cone all right it's 63,000. any one of these levels to slow it down now Given that our daily range is tight, we know that we're going to have quite a directional day. So when it does decide to pick its direction, we do know that there's going to be some decent follow through. Like, for example, here, the daily means were wide. Uh, this might not even be on the screen. The daily mean and its outliers were pretty wide. So it's a choppy day, pretty good for scalping, to be brutally honest. And when the VREs are tight, we know that it's a good day for trend following okay five minute expansion 
expansion mode perfect mean revision through perfect all right any closes above here we do look for a push to the upside this is a one minute candle here on spot that's why we have these big gaps gaps always fill so i will be looking for this region to maybe throw in some liquidations in due time down here maybe i target it maybe i don't from 66 triple six pretty much to 66 600 flat so 66 dollar gap all right good for targeting as you can see they're pretty much uh, always filling themselves in this could be that full catch some liquidations in here now let's go look at the seven day and just do a nice little comparison all right seven day cone for longer term trading so Bitcoin's technically in its range here on the seven day. What I would like to see is a touch at $83,000. Uh, it could be a new high. I don't really give a shit at $83,000. And then this becomes a nice big pink range if we don't break above 83. So it's 83,000. Oh, let me just get that right. $83,000 to $34,000. Technically, if it's above, if it is above this pink, it's long term bullish. And if it's above here, it's ranging bullish. So very choppy, but still bullish. If it fails here, that's when it gets into a bearish market. Let me throw up this 15 minute. Here it comes. Here comes your pumpola. All right, beautiful. Trying to get into standard deviation two of the daily mean. Let me switch these VREs off. All right, now let's do some measure moves, quick sticks. If you find this information helpful, please do like, subscribe, and be careful who you share this with because they are your liquidity. So there's a possible 5% move ha coming through the book, all right, shortly. Furthermore, because I do this rules by rules, where's the fucking measure thing? Oh, there, I'm so blind. We're looking for a 10%, just shy of oh, pretty much 10.5% move on Bitcoin. All right, if we can hold above this blue line, break its mean and into here, we do look for a 10% move. When, I, when do I start getting super bearish? Is any closes below here? And that should bring us by a minus 2.41% move. So you can do your R&R &R, and I think that works out to about like a 3.5 risk reward ratio. If you are a long-term trader holder. Alrighty then. Much love, oh, African crypto warlord out. Let's see where our skews are. Skew is on the bottom side of the cone. So initially I'll be looking for any pumps here to want to be sold into at this blue line if it's still long-term bearish at a 2.63% move to the upside, a 5.5% upside. And this is getting a bit hectic. All right, and where's its mean? 7%, let's mark out 10%. Oh my word. Ugh, I really need the other tool on here. Fuck this thing, man. Okay, here, just give me the shit. That is about our same 10% move. All right, into this region here. Pretty much marked out. Okay, so there's two targets to the upside here that are saying for a long-term trend to the upside. That is solely if BTC holds above Double six, triple six. African Crypto Warlord out. Discord links below. Alpha trading tools, the tools that you see here that I'm using, and my own private Discord. We're growing slowly. Sometimes I drop some good alpha with regards to USDT dominance. All right. What's going to occur? Just have this as an observation. Type in USDTT. You have two levels here. Let's just make it easy. 4.25%. If it doesn't dump below 4.25%. So if it bounces here, we have a current top in the Bitcoin chart. If it gets to 14.17, I am expecting that orange line in the cone to be hit. Simple. At 4.17, you should see Bitcoin at roughly... Come on. At roughly... 68,982 or $70,000, 100, all right? That for that. Look at that guy, beautiful, beautiful. Any ranges in here, where's the top side of this cone? 
All right. X price discovery from forty seven fifty three and forty seven three fifty six. Okay, price discovery from there. Much power. Stay fucking wow.